Good morning. Welcome to stay here. I know you have a million for you. How many people want my million dollars here? Good. Good. Uh, we are working in a very complicated world, guys. As human beings, we are facing challenges like, you know, like that this guy could become the next president of the United States. Big challenges. An aging world, refugees beating us in our faces every time we sit down in, in front of a television, uh, people coming from the outside to big cities. And uh, from the business point of view, we have northern tribes challenging our business as usual, challenging big corporations, which will lose probably their power. 40% of big companies will disappear in 10 years, disrupted by northern tribes like Uber, Airbnb, or Instagram, or Instamart. So what we can do to, uh, as persons and as uh, businesses to, to get the challenge? Probably make a meaning with, which is the, the base of being a social entrepreneur. Social entrepreneur is somebody who wants to make money but change the world, make an impact in the world he serves. And this is the reason why the majority of these companies will not disappear because they are going to impact in the society they serve. Make a meaning means uh, something like all these signals, like benefit corporation or, or uh, crowdfunding, ethical bank, being just, just trade, triple bottom line. These are the champions uh, flowing this meaning economy like Etsy, like Kiva, Tesla, and social, social networks. There is a way to change the world and make money in between. Company like Warby Parker, I don't know if you know it. Warby Parker is a, is, is a company created by four guys that were students at Columbia. They wear glasses and they said, hey, why do I have to spend $500 in a pair of glasses? And it kind of didn't make sense to us that glasses cost as much as an iPhone. Um, just intuitively, that, that didn't sort of resonate. Because 80% of uh, glasses brands have one owner, Luxottica. So they work like a monopoly. They said, hey, let's start making glasses that we are going to, to, uh, to sell for less than $100. And for every pair of glasses, we will donate one to a poor community. They're solving a problem because in emerging, in emerging countries, if you need glasses and you do not have one, you are 65% less efficient. Imagine improving 65% efficiency in growing economy. The idea is, is, if I start up a company, do I have to look for profit or purpose? Why not making both things, like sanivation? I don't know if you know it already. Sanivation is a company trying to, to, to face a problem facing 2.5 billion people in the world. They, they don't have access to a toilet. So they started up this business. It's a business donating a toilet. It's the, it's the toilet as a service. They install for free a toilet to poor communities. They, are, they charge a little, a little part of money every month. And uh, at the same time, they are treating the waste, transforming the waste into fuel and fertilizer, so making business, and helping 2.5 billion to have access to proper service. This fuel is very utile for companies like African Clean Energy. These are companies working with us in the venture. All these companies I'm going to, men to mention. One billion people don't have a place to cook. So they have to cook in the open, in open side with a hood fire. This foster deforestation. This have a big impact in CO2 emission. And so they created this tool, this tool where you can cook with any kind of organic fuel but hood. And at the same time, it's a battery, getting the battery from the solar panel, and you can recharge your mobile. You can have light by night in places where energy is not available. So these are the big challenges. Do we have to follow the rules or can we rewrite the rules? Why not? And creating a better world. Doing well 
by doing who? By doing good. This is the mantra of the Chivas, of the Chivas brothers, when in 18 and 1 started up what today is a very well known company in the world. And uh, the, the values of these two brothers who started their business walking for three days until Aberdeen is very well, very well projected in the venture. This is the, the context, the worldwide context where 31 countries are participating today, uh, where we are looking for the best social entrepreneurs in the world. We have a bunch of money, $1 million. We have a huge amount of mentorship in the best places in the world. Last year, we made it in the Skoll Foundation at Oxford University, and a lot of mentors with the high generosity and sharing, you know, share their knowledge to make people uh, better people. The four pillars of the venture of the Chivas Regal support to the social entrepreneurship are accelerating, accelerating through mentorship, media exposure, financial support, and of course, impact in the community. Let's see what I'm talking about, uh, talking about the, the last year when they started this edition, what it means, the venture. In October 2014, Shivas launched the venture. An international call for social entrepreneurs to win the right way. At stake, $1 million in funding to help startups change the world of business and the lives of others. Thousand social entrepreneurs from every corner of the globe, aiming for positive change as well as profits, answered the call. Sixteen were shortlisted to represent their countries in the venture final. For five weeks, we invited the world to vote who should receive a share of the first $250,000 in funding giving each finalist a chance to inspire others with their incredible stories. Five social entrepreneurs were chosen to pitch their ideas to a panel of experts. For the remaining share of the venture's million dollar fund, this is their movement. And this is their moment. Hey, isn't it amazing? They are people like you. They just got a chance and say, hey, I want to be part of this context. In 2015, we have 1,000 social entrepreneurs from every, every part of the world. These were the finalists. And uh, this is the impact that the venture made in their business and in their life. The most important thing is the number of people that has been impacted through them. You know, their business and their life were changed for good. And their environment and their community impact. This is Jose Manuel, the winner in the 2015 edition. He created Algrano. Algrano is a kind of vending machine supplying foods, staple foods like rice, like beans, like wheat, at 40% discount price in very poor places, in the outskirts of Chilean, of Chilean cities. So practically, people living with $4 a day can buy rice at the bulk price, like buying tons of rice, impacting almost 90,000 people since, uh, since they participated in the venture. He got the three, three $300,000 from, from the venture context, and these are the results in the, the impact he got in his, uh, in his society. 2016 was the first year where Spain participated in this, in this context. I was ambassador last year, we got uh, 2,500 entrepreneurs from all over the world in 27 countries. And uh, 120 projects participated in Spain. We got the 16 semi-finalists and the five finalists that were nominated and the winner on 15 of January this year. Let's see the final in uh, Impact Hub this year.
proyectos finalistas me han emocionado mucho. O sea, yo realmente hacía mucho tiempo que no tenía un contacto con empresas de, con esta finalidad social y realmente son necesarias. Llamo aquí a Rafael Espinosa para felicitarle. El hecho de que Chivas eh, decida ¿no? apostar por el emprendimiento social y premiar a, a personas que están decididas a cambiar el mundo a través de, de un proyecto empresarial, pues me parece una iniciativa fantástica. ¿no? Creo que las empresas tienen un gran potencial también para cambiar el mundo. By the way, I am a chief optimistic officer, but I like Joseph's title. He's an ultraman. I like it, really. Maybe the three girls before, they were not very happy with this ultraman. So we, we got these 27 finalists, and we bring them to Oxford, to the Skull Foundation, giving to them amazing, amazing acceleration, amazing personal acceleration. And uh, then, it, this happened in March, then in April, we will create a worldwide crowdfunding campaign where they, the finalists got the first $250,000 and then 16 of them went to the big final to New York where they had judges like this one. These were the, fin the final finalists. For every idea of the kind of companies that, that reach the final, we have Wakami is a company from Guatemala creating handicrafts from uh, the very poor community, so giving them a dignity and, and uh, sustainability. Eye Control is an Israeli company making available people with uh, strong disability to, con to communicate with their eyes. We Farm is the internet for the people not having internet. They use the SMS for giving to farmers in poorest region uh, information about the crops, about prices, about the weather. Then we have Cooler, a German company, allowing medi me the uh, medicines uh, equipment to bring uh, their tools, their vaccines, their medicines in places where there is no energy. So they can really save a lot of lives. And finally, Concepto Plastico, which is a Colombian company, um, recycling everything for giving a dignified house to the poorest in the poorest in Colombia. And this was the final in New York. Twenty-seven social entrepreneurs competing for a share of one million dollars. After two days of intense pitches, our judges must decide which five will make it through to the final. So you would go for him? Well, that's it. That's two out of three. That's the vote. It's not been an easy process, so we'll start with eye control or Pular, Julia, Wakami, Maria, Wefarm, Kenny, Consumptuous Plasticals. Congratulations to the five of you. Now they must give the pitch of their lives to secure a share of one million dollars. Oh There's no, nothing more inspiring than like being on the big stage. I'm super excited. I can't wait to see what they have on offer. I can't wait to see what the judges are going to decide. I just spoke with them and they're over the moon because to make it this far in a competition like this, we're hoping to see some wow factor. So they're going to they're going to bring their A game. I feel okay, my heart's beating, but not pounding out. This kind of stage, it's a great honor to stand here, even to be in these finals, like a dream. You're being given a platform to be able to speak to a lot of people. You've really got to give it everything and make sure that you take advantage. 
He is a comedian and host of The Daily Show, Mr. Trevor Noah. Are you guys ready to get the show on the road? And let's do this. I want to improve the lives of 100 million small-scale farmers. Communities that have dreams that need to be fulfilled. Why do you think this particular model would succeed? What is unique about your proposition? We can finish the housing shortage in Latin America in just 10 years. We want to change the way of cooling and bring it to the ones that need it most. This project will change the lives of millions. Pretty awesome. I was really nervous beforehand, but once you get up there, like, it's great to say it was a big buzz. You did it. I don't know what they're really looking for as a jury. That's not so easy to say. We think this um, amazing product that's going to have many investors to come. Uh, and I think yeah. she could still take 100 and do a lot with it. Uh, it's enough to really scale the businesses. Here everyone says, like, you all did amazingly well. I'm really proud to have shared this with you, genuinely. Really. It's always difficult, it's always tough to, uh, to come up with, uh, with a winner. The winner of the 2016 Chivas Venture, Oscar Mendez. <laughs> the people who are going to change the world and make it a better place. I'm so happy we learned to share a little bit more. Do you have the next business idea that could help change the world? Unbelievable. By the way, we were fun of, uh, of Rafael and his uh, Alsap. Alsap is, a, is an application, is a kind of platform to help people with Alzheimer to delay you know, the impact of their, of their illness on their, on their life and on their families. We are a fan, fan of, of him. At the end, he was not one of the finalists, but it was amazing, the experience he, he, uh, he, he lived. So Oscar Mendes was the, the, the winner and his uh, Conceptos Plasticos. Since uh, July, you know, he, doubled, he doubled the impact he's making in the community. Since July, he got uh, uh, a third, more or less, of the, uh, of, the, of the funding. And so these are the first results of what he's making with the money, creating uh, you know, places, creating homes where there is only poverty and drugs and, and, and illness. So now let's start 2017. Now we are here for you to participate. Uh, the, the program already started in September 12th. Today is our first launching in a public place. You have time until the 2nd of December to participate. It's very easy. We have a stand here with, with, a, uh, with a very handsome guy who can help you, to, for girls, I, I mean, to uh, participate in, uh, immediately in the, uh, in the context. So you have plenty of time to take this challenge. There are people like you. you know, they are not really uh, people with rich people, with rich fathers, or uh, supported by rich brands. They are just persons who want to change the world and make money in between. So next step will be January 13th, where we will announce the semi-finalist and the, the five finalists and the winner. In March, the winner, the Spanish winner, together with other 30 guys or girls from uh, 31st uh, uh, countries, will go to have their week of uh, uh, acceleration, maybe the Skoll Foundation in, uh, in uh, Oxford, maybe in San Francisco, like the first year, with, with amazing people. Then in April, they will get a crowdfunding, participate in a crowdfunding campaign, getting $250,000 of the first money of the Chivas Fund. And the 16 semi-finalists will go to the next step, probably New York, or maybe in San Francisco, we don't know yet, it's a, it's a surprise, with the final, with the great judges, where they should you know, uh, pitch and uh, be the winning for this year. So it is $1 million, it's a lot of mentorship, and it's a lot of fun. So I strongly suggest you to, uh, you know, to push you know, your colleagues to participate. It's easy, it's for free, don't lose this challenge. 
you just enter this, this web page and you put your data. Rules are very simple, so do it. I know we are running out of time. Um, simply, it's a way to understanding that our real challenges are not making money, are not becoming famous, are not having unbelievable jobs. Our challenges are those that will make us happy, being part of something bigger than you, impacting in your community, uh, creating a lot of smiles, especially in kids and poor people, and women, by the way. So these are our challenges. And Chivas, Chivas Regal and the Venture is going to help you in getting some of those. The time is now. <coughs> we founded Mass Challenge with a mission to catalyze a global renaissance. We launched this at the very depth of the recession when the Dow was below 7,000 because society and business in particular has become just way obsessed with greed short-term profit extraction, and not focused enough on value creation. So you guys are the value creators. As a society, rather than fight over slices of the existing pie, we would rather make more pie. And that's what you guys are all about, creating new value, creating new companies, solving new problems, creating more wealth, more jobs, more growth, more optimism, hope, excitement, and passion. And that's what the world should be about, not just fighting over slices and who gets the biggest share of profit, but actually doubling, quadrupling, the amount of profit. So in the next decade, two decades, the size of the global market is gonna double and double again. I want you all to be at the leading edge of that so we get to define what that system looks like. And rather than have it be one based on short-term exploitation of labor and raw materials and a place to dump our waste, I would much rather foster a collaborative environment in which we are all solving massive problems and unlocking all of the incredible intellectual capacity around the world in a much, much better system designed to help the world. So be the change. And thank you for coming here. Now we move to our, uh, to our place there, the Chivas Venture. And uh, you are very welcome to participate in our, in our context. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much, Antonio.